Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from Nomo Codes here. In today's software tutorial, we are talking about Softus Google Map integration, uh, where you can show all the locations as pins in a map block so that your users can have a very efficient way to see all the locations um, in your database in a single viewport. So the first thing you want to do is actually get your API key, Google Map API key. So you have to go to Google's cloud platform, go into Google Map, and then set everything up and then you can go into the APIs panel. Uh, make sure your map JavaScript API is enabled. Um, so if it's not enabled, you should be able to find that in the list in the additional APIs. One of them like this one, like the Android SDK and then you can see an enable button and then you click on it. So mine is enabled. So it's under the enabled API list. And then you go to your credentials. Now, if your API key is enabled, then you should be able to copy the API key from here. Once you copy your API key from here, you can go into software, um, go to settings, go to integration, um, go to your Google map and paste the, the Google map API key right here. And then um, that integration is ready to go. Now, what you want to do is add a map block, which I've already added. So you can find that just by typing map. There are two versions. Make sure you pick the map dynamic one. Um, that's what we're going to cover in this tutorial. Then make sure you uh, connect your base, table, everything as usual. So you have like different options like zoom, map defaults, play around with those. Um, what, what's important here is that you have to make sure in your air table, you have latitude and then long, longitude um fields in them set up so you can hook them up in this block so make sure they're hooked up collect correctly and then for the marker color is basically what you're gonna show in uh the pink color you're gonna show in your map block and then you can have the title uh, atta uh hooked up to a uh, in my case is location name so when you click on it the first thing is the location name and then now what we want to do is actually enable users to see the ratings and then also the preview and then also give the new button, um, put a button there. Um, so yeah, and then the way we do that is under dynamic fields, we add our overall um, ratings, add our preview picture, um, so hook them up. And then the important thing is button. So for the button, um, it is, so you can find the button um, in the type there, click on it. And then the button actually currently hooked up to open external URL. And then it will open like a Airtable field, Airtable record uh, link um, there. I will explain why. So the most intuitive way to do the button is actually to make the button open this de details page, right? But it does not work. Let me show you why. So if we go into um, our previous approach where you click on the list um, item from the list block, and then you go into the list details page, as you can see that the URL actually looks, um, it is not a simple URL where the first part is actually our applications URL that you can see uh, the subdomain is basically the application domain or subdomain. And then slash list details, it's basically um, your page path. So my list details page page path, as you can see from the pages side navigation here is, is list hyphen details. Um, and then you will have a question mark, uh, question mark record ID equal, and then you have record ID there. So this part is actually the dynamic part where um, the record ID equal and then the record ID is actually what making this page populate content dynamically. Now, that being said, what we want to do is actually to hack it a little bit. So we need to have a formula field in our air table. And, and then we're going to set up our formula in the way that uh, we have double quotation mark and within the double quotation mark, it's the statics uh, part of our URL all the way till the equal sign. And then we're going to have end um, symbol. That's basically help us to uh, append the record ID right after the static part of our URL. And then we use the formula record ID, record uh, underscore ID bracket. So that part is basically telling Airtable to populate the record ID after our static URL part. 
Uh, with that set up, now we go into our button settings. We make sure that it opens the external URL and then we'll hook it up to this list details link field that we just set it up. And now if we publish, we go into preview, you can see that when we click on the pin and then we go click on see details, uh, the URL is set up correctly. Now it's basically functioning as if you just clicked on a list um, item from a list block and then you go into the list details page. And there you have it. This is how you can set up the functionality where you can show all your locations in your database in one go, in one single map block. Please like and share this video if it helped. Uh, let me know in the comment down below if there's more confusion or any other confusion about it. Um, subscribe to my channel for more tutorials about software and follow me on Twitter to engage with me. Uh, my DM is open so you can ask me anything really there. Um, until next time, ciao.